welcome back Colleen here and this is a different type of video um, this is not a makeup tutorial or a review of sorts um, this is more something geared towards my YouTube following who live more outside of countries um, where there is a Sephora or um, countries that Sephora do not ship to so if you want to hear you know my thoughts on how to get around that Sephora issue stay tuned okay please forgive the um, background sounds my neighborhood is alive and kicking and you know, all the roosters are crowing and the jackhammers are joking and the dogs are barking and you're hearing like one or two random people on the side of the road just yapping. Yeah, so, I don't know, I'm not really liking my makeup today. Um, I have been, have been, sorry, using my Soft Glam um, palette. This is the latest. Um, release from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I do want to post a review and a look on this video pretty soon, but this video is not about this. Um, basically, for those who live outside of the US, Canada, um, certain parts of Europe, um, certain parts of Asia, um, we don't have Sephora a physical Sephora store you know in which we can go and shop and most of us at one point relied on making our Sephora purchases online right myself included I mean I would go to the States for vacation and when I'm in the States I would pop into a Sephora to pick up you know a couple of things you know that I've been eyeing or just to top up but for the most part most of my Sephora purchases have been online transactions right and I would say probably in the past couple of years um, Sephora has been for one reason or another I really don't know um, stopping orders with international credit cards and um, transactions where the shipping address is a commercial freight address um, I remember when I first experienced it like I spoke to a CSR and they were like well we really don't ship to freight forwarding addresses you know and for me that was a real bummer right because I have been a VIB Rouge member since that program especially that level started I can't remember how long ago that was like some donkey years ago and you know it really bummed me out um, since then they have introduced a PayPal option which is great because it treats with the international credit card issue for me you know so they still do accept um, my transactions but there are a lot of people out there and I keep seeing it in the beauty chat room group you know um, complaining that the orders have been cancelled and you know it's usually because of one or two or both things a international credit card has been flagged and B the for freight forwarding address now there are two ways two practical and common sense ways to get around that and that is A you either have some friend or family in the states to ship it to and then they can forward it to your home address or your skybox whichever one or B, you just simply hop on a plane and that's provided you have a visa to the United States or Canada and you shop to your heart's content. 
at any Sephora. But anyhow, um, so that is the issue. We, and I'm gonna talk about just the Caribbean because I can't speak to of any other region. Um, this is the issue we face so that, like right now, the Sephora VIB sale is going on. And I know a lot of us who've participated in the sales in the past are pretty salty now because we cannot, you know, we cannot um, partake in the sale. For me, honestly, I don't shop the spring sale because you don't get better deals in springtime. You tend to get it better in November when it's like autumn going into the holiday season when you get 20%. So for me, I honestly will forego um, this sale. I mean, I was eyeing some stuff and I'm like, you know what, it's not that serious you can live with what you have you know so I'm really not participating in the spring sale but I will go full throttle for the November sale just saying <laughs> um, but um like I was saying it's 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 really like a bummer for us who cannot participate in sales so for that period of time where I myself could not um, access the benefits and the products Sephora had to offer, particularly online, you know, um, these are my tips and tricks um, for getting some of the goodies that you want and even getting it at an even more reduced price than what Sephora offers so if you're interested stay tuned yeah again I'm really sorry about all the background noise like that drilling that you hear I don't know what the drilling for but I expect my area to flourish after they discover you know like some kind of I don't know what's what what, what was that um vibranium from Okanda. Maybe they're digging for vibrium. Vibrium. <laughs> oh my god, I can't speak. But anyhow, these are my tips for getting some of the items that you have been eyeing, you know, and these are good alternatives to Sephora, basically. Now, the first thing, before we even look at sites, these are the three things that I would highly recommend to anybody who does a lot of online shopping you know because I personally like a bargain like anybody else but I like to maximize and get a lot of back for my buck so the first thing I would tell you to do is first sign up and get a PayPal account because for starters PayPal is probably one of the most secure ways to make transactions online um, if you have an issue you can lodge complaints with PayPal and they do treat with you it's used in a timely manner and it is very secure like people could go fishing for your credit card information but like once you have a PayPal account with a different um, password code and everything you're less likely to get your credit card information fished and hacked and have your credit card run up the max so that is the first tip I would tell you get a PayPal account it's simple I will leave a link in the bottom description below sign up and get the benefits of PayPal secondly sign up for Ebates like <laughs> I remember when I first heard of Ebates I thought it was a gimmick and a scam but then I signed up myself and I would not like to tell you, I have gotten back thousands of dollars cash back, which I actually use towards, you know, buying more makeup. And who doesn't want more makeup at less money? Like, come on, that's like a new brainer. All right, I will leave um, my affiliate link for Ebates. I mean, you could sign up on your own or you can use my link if you do use my link I too get the benefit of some cash back I am disclaiming that on the jump because I believe about honesty and forthcomingness and you know I just give it to you 100 but really and truly sign up for an Ebates account 
basically what that does all the websites and there's so many not just makeup but anything clothes electronics jewelry baby clothes toys you name it furniture anything you can dream and conceptualize Ebates has cash back for those websites and uh, depending on the website you um, go to there is a specific amount of cash back that you get I've seen anywhere from 1% to 20% cash back which is insane and then at the end of each quarter yearly quarter you do get back a check with the total amount of cash back for that period and you could easily just get the check and cash it or what I do is I um, pay it through my PayPal account and have it applied back to my credit card so it's like win-win situation you know because I am like allergic to the bank I hate winning banks that's just me and then the third and final um, tip I would tell anybody who is online shopping an avid um, online shopper or just you know a one-off um, to get coupon codes right because who wants to pay for like products at full retail price I don't I could tell you that so for me um, my favorite um, coupon code site is retail me not.com I will leave a link again in my description box for you to check it out there are thousands and thousands of coupon codes there there's some sites like Victoria's Secrets that take multiple I think as much as three coupon codes and it is great because you can get free shipping you can get cash back you can get free stuff it's just a bomb.com and I um, a coupon queen I love 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 a bargain and then to in terms of makeup <clears throat> um, trend mood tends to get a lot of coupon codes because she is always in the know and I guess she has very good ties with makeup brands so they do give her coupon codes so again check out trend moods she tends to have the know on what are the best deals so I will leave a link um, for her Facebook and IG in the description bar below you know again who does not love a deal now, in terms of websites that are, for me, good alternatives to Sephora, I like to go, I like to use one of two th types of websites. Uh, something similar to Sephora in terms of a department store type of website where you can get a plethora of makeup brands under one site so that if you are going on a shopping binge you can get a lot of different types of stuff a lot of different types of brands in one stop shop you know so for me like I like to shop on Nordstrom Nordstrom really has some good deals where they actually do price matching and even if you don't see it on the website you can talk to a customer service rep online and basically tell them hey you know this place is you know they have a deal on it at this price blah 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 and they will price match them and I think Macy's but I'm not too sure if Macy's takes um, like international credit cards so I'm not even going to so like Nordstrom is another fave alternative site that I like to look at I have never experienced any problems with Nordstrom's either accepting my credit card or shipping to my Skybox so that is one um, site that is not only secure they carry a wide brand of designer makeup perfume and skincare that Sephora also carries plus they do have some brands that Sephora does not carry like Mac you know and you can get discounts at Mac Mac don't always go on sale eh? just 
letting you know. And Nordstrom is having their anniversary sale. It's coming up in July, so you might want to put that on your calendar. If you're missing out on the Sephora sale, you could probably take advantage of the Nordstrom anniversary sale. You know, why not? Next side that I love to shop on for again high end makeup, skincare, and perfume is Beautylish. And to be quite honest, Beautylish has such great deals at the end of the year where the holiday promotions where they have blind bags. Well, I don't know, my kids, it's like a, a blind bag for a makeup junkie. It's equivalent to what those kids, you know, purchase in the toy store. Um, basically, depending on how much you've spent, they will give you a bag to a particular value. And I have seen people get Natasha Denona palettes. Natasha Denona palettes are freaking expensive. There is nothing there under $100. So you're already getting back like way more than what you would have gotten in Sephora at any Sephora sale. I have yet to see Sephora give away Natasha Denona palettes. Just saying. Just saying. Alright. Another site that I also like to shop on is skinstore.com but I typically get more of my skincare products there. And they could have anywhere between 10 to 30% off throughout the year. So they're always advertising some coupon code um, for some holiday or long weekend session. And to be honest, getting 30% off skincare, which is so very expensive, is like such a better deal than Sephora. Like the most Sephora will give you is 20%. And the Black Friday sales aren't all that cracked up to be. Trust me, I have partaked in them. And it's like, mm, you know. And then, too, like another helpful tip is like, go to that particular makeup brand's website. And usually, if you're a first-time shopper there, sign up for the newsletters because they will tell you when they have great sales and great deals and usually first time um, transactions they do give you a decent discount of your first purchase it's anywhere between 10 to 30 percent again like a lot of um, makeup websites now I guess because it's so competitive in the makeup industry everybody and the grandmother and the auntie has some kind of offer for a sale or a discount you know so just again like I said sign up for like trend mood because she tends to be in the know in terms of all the great deals out there and then too there are just some brands and some websites that you wouldn't think actually has like designer brand um, makeup like Walmart, for instance, folks, sells high-end makeup. <laughs> they actually have a premium um, makeup section, you know, in addition to all the drugstore goodies that, you know, we all know and love. And then, too, there are, like, a lot of more affordable brands out there that make makeup at the same consistency and quality as some of the high-end um, counterparts out there. I mean, Juvia's palettes, their eyeshadow situation is insane. And I would actually put their pigmentation and blendability up there with some of the giants like Anastasia Beverly Hills, Natasha Denona, because I have those brands and I... I mean, I compare and it's like, you know, even Colourpop, like, Colourpop right now is like killing the game. So, I mean, I don't even feel too bad um, missing Sephora because there's so many alternative makeup brands at an affordable price that we can easily access and they will not tell you no. I mean, 
I've been really loving Beauty Bakery products of late and I'm just waiting for the foundation to drop so I can get that foundation. It's between that one and the Jouer foundation that I really am excited to try out but by and large I don't feel like if I'm missing out you know by not taking in the Sephora spring sale and I don't think you should either so don't don't worry yourself you know don't worry yourself so um, that is basically it for my tips and tricks I hope you found this video helpful to your makeup journey <laughs> Um, I do want to film a couple videos. I don't know if I'll be able to this weekend because I have a lot of things to do. I know I have to do a review and look on this. Like, this deserves a video. Legit, no lie. And then I have some boxy charm boxes coming in. And, um,. I don't think I would necessarily review the older one, which is the March box, because I signed up like the last day of March, and they said, oh, well, you get any March box, and I was like, oh, you still have March boxes, what? So I have March and April boxes back to back, and I know the two boxes has eyeshadow palettes in it. One is a pure, which I don't know. I mean, I guess when I see it, I'll see it. And then there is a Colourpop eyeshadow palette in the next one. I don't know which one I'm getting. Um, I only have like one Colourpop um, eyeshadow palette in my collection and that is the Yes Please palette. Um, if for some reason I get that back, I think I will throw that in a giveaway. Um, I am accumulating goodies for a 4,000k subscriber giveaway, you know, because I think I'm at, I don't know, 2.6 thousand subscribers, so 1,400 more, it gives me enough time to like build up the little arsenal of goodies that, you know, I want to give to a lucky subscriber, you know, I like to give back and say thanks and whatnot, and the stuff in the boxy charm are really good as like full size products so you know depending on what I know I will use I will keep some and I will put the rest in a giveaway you know but basically that is it for this video if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up comment in the comment section below and tell me if you've been getting through it so far or not and if you you know, open to trying out my little suggestions that I just share with you guys. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed as yet, please do. And until the next time, bye.